I'm making a video. <laughs> oh, like filming it? Well, I'm gonna morning. be in it now. <laughs> it's gonna get pretty, we could go somewhere. No, let's get like really dressed up and like really pretty and then go like to Goodwill. Okay. You know what I mean? Like just something stupid. Get <laughs> cereal, but I'll stay in the video. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this look. Without further ado, let's jump on in. So the first thing I did was moisturize my lips with the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Lip Balm. And then I primed my skin with the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I have a little bit of this left, so I've just been trying to use it up lately. For foundation, I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I am in the shade 280. This is my absolute favorite foundation. I couldn't decide if it matched my skin or not, but I just went with it and put it all over my face with a random beauty sponge and I decided that the color did look fine. Just a disclaimer, my skin is naturally pretty red so no foundation truly matches my face. For concealer, I use the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the shade 27B Light to Medium Beige. And I just put this under my eyes, a line on my nose, a line on my chin, and I had to cover up my acne from my mask. I am over that. And then I just put a little bit on my forehead as well and blended that in with the same damp beauty sponge. And then I went in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder and used the same beauty sponge and just put that everywhere where I had just put concealer. While that powder sat on my face, I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I am in the shade Blonde. And then I took an e.l.f. spoolie brush and a Morphe M165 brush and just filled in my eyebrows. For eyeshadow, I decided to use the beautiful Morphe James Charles palette. I started with a Morphe JH33 brush and this yellowy looking shade right here and put that all over my lid because I like working with a matte base. Using the same brush, I dipped into the light green shade and put that all in my crease. I normally don't work with color, so I was super nervous to try this look out, but I love the way it ends up turning out. Shout out to Macy for convincing me to do the green eyeshadow. Then I went into the darker green shade with the Morphe JH40 brush and put that all into my outer crease and then blended it out with the same JH33 brush that I used earlier. And then I took a Morphe JH41 brush and sprayed it with some Fix Plus and dipped into that green shimmer shade and just applied that on the inner and middle lid. After that, I took a Morphe JH39 brush and dipped back into that light green shade and put that under my eye. And then using a JH42 brush, I dipped into that big shimmer shade and used that as an inner corner and brow bone highlight. And then I took this big fluffy brush that I just got in a set at TJ Maxx and used that to brush all of the powder off of my face. Mm -hmm. 
and then I used a Farrah Contour 218M brush in the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and applied bronzer to my face. And then I took a Morphe JH04 brush to apply this Tarte blush in the shade Quirky. And then I used this Morphe JH09 brush to apply this Ofra Madison Miller highlighter in the shade Sea Shimmer. And then I set all that with the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. After that, I did a thin line of eyeliner with the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in the shade Black. Then I set my eyebrows down with the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. Then I used the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplifying Primer. While that dried, I put on this Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade 125 Nude Cult. Last, I applied my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Thank you all so much for watching this video and here is my finished look. Now enjoy these clips from Macy. I really like your eating cereal in the background. Well then I came in and wild is my middle name. Not really, it's Dawn. I wish I had your side profile, I look like a toucan. Okay, I have a real question for you. Okay. When you eat cereal like Frosted Flakes and stuff, you know how it's like really hard to get all of it out of the bowl? Mm -hmm. How do you dispose of it? I have my way. I just like if it's know. like that yeah. and you're done with it, Yeah, probably like flush it down the toilet or something. Yes. I tell people that all the time and they think I'm so do weird that I put do that. No. Where do they put it? Leave it in the comments what you do with your cereal because I want to know. Leave it in the because comments. Everybody's